In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called matching parent graphs with their equations. And here we're given four graphs and we're asked to match them to their parent equations. And to start, I'll just provide a quick graph of what each of those parent equations looks like. Starting with the simplest, we have y equals some number, and the simplest version would be y equals one. That would be a horizontal line through y equals one. Looking back at my four examples, none of these are a horizontal line, so we do not have this parent function. Moving on to the next, we can look at y equals the variable x. This will be a sloped line, so on a diagonal. Again, looking back at our examples, we do see that one of these has that straight line on an angle look, so the parent function here would be y equals x. Then other parent functions, we have y equals the absolute value of x. This is similar to y equals x, except all of the negative values become positive, so that will have this v shape. And again, looking at our four examples, we do have this parent function represented. This is y equals absolute value of x. If we keep going, another parent function is y equals the square root of x, which has a distinctive starting point at zero and sort of arcs upwards like so. Looking at our two remaining functions, neither of those have that shape. So we'll continue to other parent functions. Looking at y equals x squared, that has that general u shape. And looking back, we do see that represented here. So this parent function would be y equals x squared. And at this point, we haven't seen b represented yet. If we continue looking at parent functions, the next would be y equals x cubed. So this has sort of an S shape, like so. So looking back, that's not the shape of B. So we'll continue by looking at the last two. First, we would have y equals 1 over x, which has sort of an hourglass shape like so, and then down here as well. So looking up, not quite what we have here for B, although the upper right hand corner does look similar. We have one more parent function, and that is Y equals one over X squared. So again, the upper right hand corner is similar, if just maybe a bit steeper than the previous. And then since the X squared makes everything positive, the other part is also above the x-axis. And this is what we see here for b. So this parent function is y equals 1 over x squared. 